Prime Minister, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, with the support of his cabinet, successfully interceded on the behalf of 47 St. Lucian workers formerly employed by Liat 1974 Limited. The storied regional airline flew into financial turbulence and in 2020 went into liquidation. The displaced employees were forced out of their jobs without their terminal benefits. Prime Minister Pierre's intervention has resulted in a welcomed multi-million dollar settlement agreement arrived at with the assistance of the Ministry of Labor, which is led by Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot and the National Workers' Union. It's not only 47 people that will be benefiting from that. Hundreds. We have families, we have relatives, so a lot of people are depending on this evidence. I knew the NWU wrote to our former Prime Minister and we didn't get any positive feedback from him. So again, thank you Mr. Prime Minister for taking on our job. On December 16th, the former Liat workers finally received their terminal benefits in the form of bond certificates from the government of St. Lucia. The bond certificates are cash redeemable and can also be used as collateral to secure loans. A total of $4.4 million was disbursed to the former Liat workers. St. Lucia bonds still have a very good name in that you can sell them, you can let them mature at an interest of 3.5%, you can use them for security, and you can exchange them. So you can tell somebody, here's my bond for $10, give me 10, and the 3% interest that you have on in it, you'll get it when it's matured. So it's what is called a, an asset that you can, you can trade in. You can trade with it. And solution bonds still have a very good reputation. So you have in your hands money, basically plus 3.5%, if you wait for the maturity dates. Former garment manufacturer Majestic Industries abruptly ended its St. Lucia operations in 2004. In under 18 months since assuming office last July, the Pierre administration demonstrated its people-first mandate to resolve what was an 18-year-old struggle endured by some 300 former Majestic Industries workers to finally get their outstanding terminal benefits. I am very cognizant of the importance of representing workers and a government that cares for people and when we use the phrase putting you first that is exactly what the government is doing today and we had to go back into the archives to check the background information to ensure that every worker who is entitled to the benefits were included in the package and therefore we, as, as Minister of Labor, the Department of Labor, we were able to pilot and prepare this memo to Cabinet. And the Prime Minister and the Cabinet colleagues in their good heart and keeping to the, the, the promise and what Labor government stands for had no objection in ensuring that we honor this obligation. Prime Minister Pierre and his administration continues to prioritize the interests of St. Lucia's working class and immediately pursued these two outstanding matters to ensure all of the affected workers receive the payments lawfully entitled to them within the earliest time frame. The approximate value of the compensation package for the former employees of Majestic Industries and Liat 1974 Limited exceed $6.3 million. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.